Hey guys, what's up? It's Miss Rhonda, and today we're going to do a uh, half crochet and half box braids. So with this process, I am actually doing the box braids um, at the top of her, um, like in the front of her hair. I've already parted out the space in the front and sectioned it off, and then in the back I am corn rolling her hair um, so that I can crochet the back. So I know you guys are noticing like how is she braiding hair with those long nails? You guys, my nails is actually like my guide. It keeps me from braiding so tight. So right here I am just sectioning off uh, the pieces of hair that I'm going to need um, as I am adding hair to um, the individual box braids. just showing you the hair that I'm using so I use about two packs of the stretch braid hair and then about six packs of the individual uh, crochet braided hair so I'm getting ready to start and I'm just parting out the sections So about my long nails. So if I didn't have these nails, these claws, y'all, I feel like I would be really braiding too tight. So I keep my nails long. It kind of helps me, you know, from gripping my client's hair too tight because I feel like that's so important. You know, I care about the, the edges, the integrity of the edges. So my nails, they really do help me, you know, not grip as tight. Um, I do let my clients know that, hey, I don't braid tight. You know, I braid tight enough to where, of course, it looks neat, but I, I'm not the type of braider that's going to grip your thoughts. That's just not me. So I get a lot of clients to come to me for weave installs, custom wigs and stuff like that. But braiding was like my initial, like my first baby. Like I was braiding hair y'all in college. I was like the dorm room braider. Everybody came to me to get their hair braided and I loved braiding hair. So right here, I'm actually adding uh, one of the crochet uh, hairs to the back of the head so that I can have an, a guide on how long I need to braid the individual braids in the front. Um, that crocheted, I put, I just do one crochet um, hair and I just kind of use that as my guide to measure up the front. So back to my story, I was the dorm room braider y'all everybody came to me to get their hair braided that was back when corn rolls was in style and twist outs like twisted uh corn rolls was in style y'all everybody was coming to me for that and so like it's just amazing to get back to that because i miss braiding i really do it's relaxing it's calming i love it So the question I get asked is, why do half crochet, half box braids individuals in the front? Like why, 
why do that? You might as well get the whole head braided, right? That's the question. That's the statement that I hear often. Well, this particular service is for the person who may have a lot of hair, but they want the small uh, box braided look without having to sit for a long time. And, you know, you do have the option to go to, you know, the Africans or, you know, people who braid hair who have multiple people in your head at once. But some people don't like that. Some people just like the comfort of just having one person and one person only in their head. So this kind of gives you that option because, yes, you get to have the individual small box braid look. Um, however, you're not sitting for a long time. So this service takes me about six hours. I, she has very, very, when I say very, I mean very thick hair. And for her, it took me six hours and I still did her braids in the front, you know, kind of small. So, you know, depending on the uh, amount of hair the person has, it takes between four to six hours. As you can see, we are completely done with the front. So I'm going to go in and clean up the braids and, you know, kind of make them look a little more neater. Um, and I am skipping to the crochet part. As you can see, I've crocheted most of the hair already. And so what I do is I kind of go in and out like uh, crochet on one side, crochet on the other side, put the knots on different sides because it kind of helps cover up the parts um, so that the hair kind of lays or the braid kind of lays in different directions. Because if you have it going all in one direction, it kind of like you can just you can see the, the cornrow lines. So doing it that way just kind of hides those cornrow lines. old-fashioned dip it in hot water girl get them in straight it also kind of helps seal the hair so it doesn't start to unravel um, and then I just kind of like to uh, allow the heat to um, pen not penetrate but <laughs> but soften the uh, hair on um, the crochets as well to kind of relax any stray away hairs or anything like that so I'm using the um, Narabi mousse and I'm just kind of working that in as well. And we are complete. And my client absolutely loved her hair, of course. Please comment, like, subscribe, and thumbs up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.